George Allen, one of the NFL's legendary coaches, passed away at his California home yesterday at the age of 72. A charismatic figure, Allen never failed to leave his mark. It seemed that wherever he went, success stories followed. Oh, we got to fire it out. When I went to the Redskins in 1971, I said, if, if we can't compete with Dallas, there's no sense in issuing equipment. We'd be tough with them. Uh, we'd be... Uh, We'd make statements like, uh, if Roger Staubach wants to run, it's at his own risk. George Allen wasn't afraid to coach anyone. His methods of motivation seemed universally accepted. A lot of cast offs, a bunch of red skins. It wasn't just older players, it was the right type of older player. The veterans we had all had character. They were all uh, football smart. They didn't make mistakes. Allen drove himself as hard as his players. This mindset led him to become chairman of the President's Council for Physical Pick Fitness. Let's see those kids around there. Those guys can barely run a lap. Sometimes I'm running, and I can beat every one of them. Coming out of retirement in the last year to coach struggling Long Beach State, Allen made them a winner. Asked, uh, all our players, I told them I'm a little old-fashioned, but I'd like you guys to please take off the earrings. I never had a player that had earrings. And another thing, I'd like you all to have a haircut. And when we go on trips, we're gonna wear shirt and tie. In retrospect, Allen's teams, if not always the best, always seemed the best prepared. Three cheers for the 49ers. Hip, 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 hooray! Hip, 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 hip.